It was the farewell René Angelil had planned at the very church where he married his love, Céline Dion, more than two decades ago. Those he touched over the years, countless celebrities and politicians of all stripes, all there to offer condolences. To the grieving superstar and her young sons, the couple's eldest, René Charles, had a message for his papa. Fifteen years is not a long time for a son to get to know his father. You had a busy life, but we were communicating through golf, hockey, poker, and smoked meat. Humor aside, he made a promise to his father. You left me now with enough good memories of you to share with my younger brothers. Many had strong praise for Angelil's talents, a self-made man who broke onto the music scene in the 1960s. First as a singer and then as a manager, transforming Dion from pre-teen prodigy into a household name. Nothing was impossible for him. He had a heart of gold, but he was also very sure of how he wanted things done. For politicians past and present, he was a giant who put Canada on the map. He and Céline built the greatest Canadian success story internationally that I'm aware of. He was a terrific gentleman and uh, he'd be bad, sorely missed. And he was able to make sure that uh, uh, Canada was known throughout the world and for him music had no boundaries and in that sense he contributed immensely to our culture. That's why Quebec's premier chose to offer what the province calls a national funeral for Angelil, a move some had questioned, since Quebec is picking up the tab for organizing it. But among the fans who waited hours to get inside, there's no debate. It's the least we can do. They've done so much for us. It feels like we, we lost the family member. As the family says goodbye in a ceremony watched by fans around the world, he'll be remembered as the man who discovered a stunning voice and loved the woman who has it. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Montreal.